In today's video, I want to talk about a very simple good practice that you should do whenever you're freeing dynamically allocated memory. So here we have an, uh, an malloc call that just allocates 10 integers, right? And uh, usually what you would do is just free this array in here, okay? What if, what if this array was actually freed twice? So for example, let's say we have another function here that doesn't return anything actually. I'm gonna say, I don't know, process array. And this guy, suppose it does something, but it takes in a double pointer to array. So basically a reference to this guy. And let's say it also takes in the number of elements. Why not? Doesn't really matter. And this does some processing here. So some processing is going on. I'm not gonna actually implement it because this is not important. And at the end of the function, it actually frees this memory. So it says free of, well, this is a double pointer. So we have a, an arrow that points to this guy. So we want to free just this uh, pointer. We don't want to free the pointer. This, this pointer is actually on the stack, right? So we don't want to free it here. We want to free that arrow that points to the dynamically allocated memory. So something like this. This is the guy that is on stack. This is the double pointer, and this arrow is the one that points to the dynamically allocated memory somewhere up top, right? And this is what we want. This is what we want to actually uh, free. Okay, so sure enough, that should work, but uh, we're also freeing here this uh, guy. All right, so I'm gonna call this function process array. I'm gonna get the arrow, the well, the arrow that points to this pointer, basically, so the reference to it and then let's say 10, okay? And suppose I don't free it here first. So the code is gonna go like so. Allocate the memory and then call this process array method and then uh, free this memory, right? And that's all it's gonna do. Well, if I run this, everything is fine, nothing broke, right? But the problem is when I try, well, well I try to uh, free it again, knowing that, okay, well, what if this function doesn't actually have this free call in it, right? Suppose this function is like tens of lines long and you don't really know the implementation of it or you don't really care and it's a bit more complicated than that, right? Uh, well, what if uh, I just make sure that this memory is actually uh, deallocated by calling free here as well, even though this guy was called as well here. So we're basically freeing the array twice without knowing it. Now, if I run this, you'll notice the whole code breaks because, uh, because we're trying to free a place in memory that has already been freed. How can we solve this? How can we solve this issue? The issue, the solution is actually very, very, very simple. All you have to do is to assign uh, the null pointer to any uh, pointers that were uh, pointing to dynamically allocated memory and you have freed them. What I mean that is once you free this array pointer, for example in here, you should set it to null. So I'm gonna say either pointer array equals null because by default, so by default this free call doesn't change the actual pointer, right? So uh, if, I, if I comment it out, let's actually go step by step here. So now notice if I step over this function call and actually free the array, just pay attention to these numbers. This one might change by the way. So if I go over it, you'll notice the actual value did not change. This guy changed, well, that's just because of the way it interprets, uh, Visual Studio actually in interprets the, the result. But this, the value in itself did not actually change, right? So therefore, this arrow, this arrow to the dynamically allocated memory still exists, still points to exactly the same place in memory, except this place in memory is gone. It's no longer ours, it's somebody else's, right? Like some other program maybe came in and allocated some dynamically allocated memory exactly there. And when we try to free it again, the, uh, the operating system says, no, -uh, you cannot free that because that's not yours, right? Or maybe it's just not allocated or something like that. So if I try to uh, step over this, I'm gonna get an error. This is what happens. So a solution to that is to set it to null once freed. So once we free it, 
we simply set the, the actual value, the actual arrow, we move that to point to zero, right? Doing that, you'll notice that if I run it again now, the program works, right? It just works, no issue. I just allocated null to it, even though we have still freed it twice. Why? That is because if you take a look at the documentation itself, what it says right here, it says that if PTR, the pointer that we're trying to free, is a null pointer, the function does nothing. Right? So you don't have to do any sort of checks, and no ifs, no nothing. It just does nothing if it's a null pointer. So now if you try to step, step over it, so you go ahead and run it, you notice array is some uh, random address in memory. If I step over this, it's going to be zero. Right? And then if I step over three, it's going to be fine because, well, array is zero, so do nothing. Yay, great. Right? You can actually provide extra checks for this and say, if array is actually null, then do something. But that's not really needed, right? So this is actually a pretty nice fix to if, you, if you're freeing the memory twice in your program accidentally. Now, this helps uh, twofold because uh, aside, from, aside from letting you free it twice, it also tells you something very important about the pointer. What you can say is if array is null in here, well, that means that the array has been freed. Right, so now you can know that this uh, pointer no longer points to anything valid. Well, it doesn't that because it's it is null, and uh, without this assignment, it's uh, actually much more difficult. So do this every single time you actually free dynamically allocated memory. So I freed it here. I'm gonna assign it to null. I freed it here. I'm gonna also assign it to null, even though we are returning out of the main function. So now in case the memory has been freed, you can check and sort of give an error, give a warning or something, not just break, <laughs> you know. I hope this was useful. I hope you start implementing this uh, common practice, common good practice in uh, your programs, even though, even though those programs might be just a hundred lines of code. If you actually start doing this every single time, it's going to, you're going to get used to it. And when it comes a uh, time, you actually have to implement a, a larger C program, you're not going to have the headaches of, oh, I deallocated the memory twice, or, oh, I don't know if this memory is allocated or not. You know, it's so much easier to work with. So I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe.